We're about 85% done with renovating the bunk rooms, the five bunk rooms that are the living quarters in the observatory, Mount Washington Observatory. And uh, we're hoping to be substantially complete this week. We're up here in the rotunda and I'm here working on the project. I'm gonna be urethaning more of this wood for the, for the bunk systems. We had to fireproof all the wood for us. This is the final phase because everything's going to be going natural to give it that natural look for the mountains. People at home are probably wondering how you got all this stuff up here. Luckily, someone else brought it up here, but they had three trucks that came on the time that the weather was perfect. They had that window of opportunity to get everything up here, and now it's just a matter of slowly getting our last materials up here because it's not, the weather is not cooperating. I'm mortising the doors for the sleeping quarters for the observation. It's a solid core door. And I'm hand mortising for hinges and hardware. The observatory has been in here since 1980, so 34 years in bunk rooms that have never been touched. They were tired. They were dreary. They were not well soundproofed. The bunks were put together in a way that didn't totally maximize the headroom. And they were very uncomfortable. They, every time one person got out of a triple bunk, it disturbed the other two people. So we tried to make the bunk rooms a lot more user-friendly. Yeah, that's real good, Scott. That little angle makes a big difference. I think we should polyurethane these, at least give them one coat. They are improving the rooms by adding uh, additional insulation to kind of make it so it's a bit more soundproof and putting better doors on so that way you can't hear chairs rustling around out in the kitchen or up in the upstairs section. They're making the beds a little bit more uh, solid so they don't shake around nearly as much when people move at night. They are adding better lighting so that way it makes the room feel a little bit bigger and that way people have individual reading lights and charging ports for their electronic devices. So just improving the quality of life in general down there. The bunk beds that were previously here, they didn't have any stairs so you would ultimately climb over the person that was sleeping there. So with, between John and myself and our senior super we came up with this. Um, it's dual purpose. We have which will be stairs, but it also functions as storage as well. So you're not disrupting the person who is sleeping underneath you. This is a $50,000 project and we had about $25,000 to work with. Emil Fry and, um, and Mike Berkeley Building Company, basically they're making a substantial donation by not getting paid for everything that they're doing. Their guys, um, Steve and Scott, two really super carpenters, who have been, been working on this project along with my brother Billy, who went to work for, for Berkeley. So those are the three hands, the, the three hired hands who are making this, this project a reality. Billy's girlfriend Jackie has been, has been up here cooking. She's a gourmet cook and she has helped out immensely with the cleaning and with painting and polyurethaning and she's just a, uh, an awesome worker and, a, and just a great asset to have on this project. The observatory hosts uh, edu trips, overnight trips, and uh, climbing trips, uh, various things like that, where guests will stay overnight, um, and this will be a great improvement for them. 